Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a fantastic start. You already know based off the title what we're doing in this video. We're going to go ahead and take a deep dive through my current perfume collection. I'm just going to scroll you down here. Um, there's there's a number of shelves that are filled with perfumes, body sprays, stuff like that. So today I just kind of want to take you through all of these and let you see what I currently have in my collection. Um, I recently did a declutter video which was much needed. If you missed that, I will link that video in the description box down below. There were a number of fragrances that I just hadn't reached for in quite some time, and I decided to gather all of those up. I let my daughter pick through the ones that she personally wanted, and then the rest went into a bin for my girlfriends to look through whenever they come over to visit. Um, so again, I will link that video in the description box down below. It was definitely needed, and quite honestly, there's still a couple more fragrances here that I should probably think about passing along, but I will do another declutter probably towards the end of this year. So, um, but yeah, this is really the reason why... <laughs> why it's so important for me to purchase travel sizes to start out with. Um, you can see I don't really have a whole lot of room left here. Uh, there is one shelf left at the bottom, but I don't really want to necessarily use that one because <laughs> I have to stoop down pretty low to, to, get, the fir to get whatever is down there. So um, yeah, I want to try to keep it to these shelves here. Um, I love this particular um, closet system. We didn't put this in, this, this house was built in 2002. We moved here about six years ago. Um, so this was already here. Um, it's a really nice built-in closet situation, but these shelves on the end are a little strange in terms of like being able to store clothing or shoes on there. And we also have like a couple different shoe racks in here anyway. So, um, you know, like I really didn't need these shelves for anything else. They're perfect for my perfumes, however. This closet does not have um, a window in it at all. Um, so there is no exposure to sunlight at all for these fragrances and it does have a vent in it so it is temperature controlled year round if you will we do have air conditioning um so during the summer months when it gets quite hot out here in oregon um this closet doesn't um like it doesn't go above like 67 degrees basically our house is just always either at 66 or 67 degrees we tend to keep it just a little bit cooler than i think most people do um but it works for us both craig and i tend to run a little bit warmer so um but yeah there's no temperature fluctuations in here at all and there's no humidity either um the biggest offenders in terms of like aging your perfumes faster are definitely sunlight as well as extreme temperature fluctuations it can definitely damage the fragrance oils in the perfumes so if at all possible try to keep your fragrances in a cool dry area away from sunlight maybe that's a closet for you but in our old house before i had this really nice closet here what i did was i went to places like marshall's home goods tj maxx and purchased those uh they're like cardboard boxes with lids you know they're usually have some pretty decorations on there or something and i stored all of my perfumes in those so that kept them away from sunlight i kept them just in a in an extra bedroom in our house so they were easily accessible to me. Um, so if you don't have a situation like this, uh, you, you can find things, you know, at those discount stores to be able to properly store your fragrances. I know they, a lot of these bottles are really pretty and it would be so lovely to put them out on a bathroom counter or maybe, you know, uh, on top of like an armoire or something in your bedroom. But I mean, it is going to age the fragrances a little bit faster so it just depends on i guess how fast you tend to go through perfumes for me i have a lot so um yeah there's just there's no way <laughs> that i can get through these quickly at all and this is you guys will see here this is the reason why i really try hard to um to try to stick to purchasing travel sizes to begin with and if something becomes 
a holy grail type fragrance after you know I use up the travel size then yes by all means I can buy a full bottle of it but um, my goal is to not outgrow this system here and um, she's quite full right now so yeah travel sizes it is for me for <laughs> the near future until I you know again decide to do kind of a serious declutter here so anyway you guys um, let's get to it. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit awkward, but we're, we're going to start at the top shelf and I'll just kind of walk you through what is on each of these shelves. Um, I decided to go ahead and organize these by brand, if you will. Um, I could have done it by, um, you know, florals, gourmands, vanillas, spicy scents, but I don't know. I really like keeping the different brands together because typically when I'm thinking about what to wear, like there's a specific fragrance that comes to mind for me. Um, for example, you know, it might be Sniff Crumb Couture that day. And so I don't think, oh, I want to wear a gourmand today. It's immediately, I want to wear Sniff Crumb Couture, right? So I know where to come and get that because all of the Sniff fragrances are together. So all right, um, on this top shelf here, I have my, I guess you could say dupe brands collections. Um, off to the left here is the Alt fragrance collection and to the right is Dossier. I did get rid of a few of my Dossier fragrances and I did get rid of at least one Alt fragrance. So I put a little dent in that particular collection. I love both of these dupe houses, by the way. Um, I don't think that one is necessarily better than the other. Um, you know, I think Dossier does some really great recreations and so does Alt. And it just kind of depends on, you know, what you're looking for. I would highly suggest trying both. Um, the price points, I think, are quite similar between the two. So um, there's no, like, significant savings going either way but um, they have some really spot-on dupes a few of them are a little different um, but a lot of them are so so similar so anyway um, I'm not gonna go through every single fragrance but a few of my favorite dossier are definitely the Floriental coconut the aquatic coconut woody freesia woody chestnut um, in terms of the alt fragrances, they're Crystal 23. They have a, um, a dupe of the Terry Mugler Alien called Terrestrial. That one is really, really good. The, um, let's see here, they have White Sun, which is, I think, another Tom Ford dupe, and that one is really lovely. But yeah, I... I love dupe fragrances. Uh, they can definitely save you a lot of money. So um, yeah, check them both out. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna lower the camera here and then um, we will go ahead and tackle the next shelf. This is the second shelf down and um, this one contains uh, a number of different brands. We'll kind of go through them here in a second. I do want to let you know that despite the fact that I exclusively purchase cruelty-free myself, I do have some non-cruelty-free perfumes in my collection. Those are either left over from back in the day um, before I went cruelty-free or I do receive a lot of uh, personal fragrances as gifts from friends and family for special occasions like birthdays or holidays. I like, I'm not going to get a gift from someone and <laughs> say, sorry, I can't use this. <laughs> it's not cruelty free. Uh, can I please get the gift receipt? Like, I just, I think that's kind of tacky. I do accept the gift in the spirit that it was given, which is someone saw it, they smelled it, they thought of me, and they wanted to give me something nice, right, for a special occasion. So I accept that gift and, you know, I use it and I try to enjoy it, but it is not something that I would personally repurchase myself. Um, but yeah, that is why you are seeing a number of fragrances here that, that are not cruelty free. So let's go ahead and go through some of the brands that are on this shelf. I'm just gonna move you just a little bit closer here. So over here is honestly one of my biggest um, like 
disappointments, I would say, in terms of perfumes. This is Miss Dior Cherie. Um, I don't know why they ever messed with this perfume. Craig got me this for Christmas. I think it was either the year before or the year after we got married. And it is so beautiful. They completely ruined this perfume with the changes that they made to it. I, I've smelled it at Sephora and it's just not the same. Um, I really miss this original version. Not that I could purchase this anyway, because it's obviously not cruelty free, but it is just, it was so beautiful and they just destroyed it. <laughs> so anyway, behind that is YSL Parisienne. I'm not gonna like tell you all of these, but I'll just kind of show you a few here. This is the original Michael Kors. Um, we've got Penrose Secret Genius. I love this one. If you like a good um, vanilla, like a gourmand vanilla, give this one a try. It's so beautiful. This perfume here right at the front on this little, um, this is actually a lid to a Bath and Body Works candle. This is Stella by Stella McCartney. This is actually the perfume that my daughter is named after. Um, I fell in love with this fragrance around the time that I got pregnant with Stella and um, I wore this all the time. <laughs> And so I thought, oh, it's just such a beautiful perfume and I kind of love the name. I think I want to call her Stella. And Craig was like, yep, sure, sounds good to me. <laughs> he didn't fight me on it. And honestly, here's another fun fact. Um, one of Craig's, like, it's not like his favorite beer, but he used to drink Stella Artois quite frequently back in the day. And so I thought, oh my gosh, like, we could name her after one of your favorite beers and my favorite perfume. And he was like, okay. <laughs> bless his heart. He, um, he's such a good guy. Anyway, my daughter is named after beer and perfume and, um, it's this specific perfume right here. All right. So I have commodity milk back here. I've got a couple of Montal fragrances, a couple of Mancera fragrances. I love these Mancera fragrances. Listen, if you are looking for potent, powerful, highly, highly uh, fragranced perfumes that last a really long time. Look into Mancera. They, they're they so good, you guys. Um, Comptoir Sud Pacifique. Um, I love this particular brand. They're Vanilla Extreme. I actually have two bottles of Vanilla Extreme, so clearly um, love this one. Uh, but they also have Vanilla Apricot as well as uh, Vanilla Blackberry. Those are so lovely. Just look into these. They're fabulous. You can find them at QVC. Um, these are a couple of my sniff, uh, fragrances here. Now these were recently sent as PR, so I actually didn't pay for these. Um, I still have two more sniff reviews to share with you guys. I have Tarte Deco as well as their Sweet Ash. Those, they're not in here because they're in my filming room, um, as a reminder to me, hey, film this video. Um, so anyway, that's just a little rundown of what is on this shelf over here. Uh, oh, this one might be worth pointing out because oh boy did I love this back in the day do you guys remember this cashmere vanilla jasmine from um Victoria's Secret oh my gosh this this fragrance is what made me fall in love with jasmine as a fragrance note it is so beautiful I would pay big big dollars to get more of this <laughs> It is long discontinued. I think I, that was like from maybe 2006 or seven. Like it's old. And you know what? It still smells amazing. If you take care of your fragrances, um, they will last. I'm telling you, they will last. Just keep that out of the sunlight, I think is the biggest thing. And then obviously try not to do like huge temperature fluctuations. But anyway, we have three more shelves to go through. So let's hop to it. The next shelf down is, again, another hodgepodge of different brands. Um, I have three fragrances over here from Clean Reserve. I have the Radiant Nectar, the Sparkling Sugar, which was just mentioned in my spring perfume recommendations. I also have their Clean Reserve um, skin scent as well, and that is lovely. In the back over here are some Elizabeth and James Nirvana White and Nirvana Black fragrances. 
man those they're fabulous on their own but i always wear those two together um if you are not mixing and matching and playing around with your perfumes you should totally be doing that um i started doing that many years ago and one of my favorite combinations that i ever found is nirvana black and white like just so good together um I have a, this is a, this one was a gift. This is Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf. I actually really like this one. I'm going to be sad when I finish it. I'm, I got to try to find a dupe because I adore the delicious spiciness of this one. Um, I have one uh, KLA perfume back here. This is the Vanilla 28. Um, actually, I have more than that. I've got a couple of their travel sizes in here as well and then these are all um, travel sizes of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana black and white sometimes I'll come up here and grab these to pop them into my purse um, I love this particular brand they're quite spendy these are the Sylvain Delacorte De um, perfumes Virgil is definitely my favorite uh, this is um, she is a French perfume um, perfume lady <laughs> Let's call her a perfume lady, uh, a French perfume designer. And she has some of the most lovely and unique vanillas. You got to check her out for sure. Um, the, these are two of my philosophy fragrances. Um, yeah, yeah, I still own this. What is this? M by Mariah Carey. <laughs> I fell in love with this in the early 2000s. And I tell you what, it is still such a great scent. In fact, I'm wearing this today. Oh, it's so good. It's really spicy and delicious. It's it's not really a spring fragrance at all, but I was just kind of craving it. So tacky bottle, but uh, delicious fragrance. Thank you, Mariah Carey. Um, I love the Seven Virtues perfumes. I've got um, a couple of their travel sizes in here as well. There's some Juliet Has a Gun perfumes in here. I don't actually think that I've even reviewed these two yet, so I, sh I should get to that. I purchased those a long time ago. Um, I've got a Boy Smells Vanilla Era in here. That's lovely. Floral Street. Ooh, it's so good. This Sweet Almond Blossom was also in my, um, what do you call that? My spring perfume recommendations. So make sure you sniff that out. So that's most of what is on this shelf over here. Um, I like using these old nest candle containers. Um, oh, there's a hair on there, but that's because the bottom's still sticky. <laughs> I didn't get all of the goo off the bottom of this, obviously, but anyway, I like using these old nest, um, candle containers to store some of my, uh, smaller size bottles in. These tip over quite easily just sitting here on the shelf when I'm reaching for things oftentimes, so it just works better to keep them in those containers. Anyway, let's move on to the next shelf. This shelf features, uh, quite a bit of Skylar. <laughs> I really love the Skylar perfumes, you guys. I will say, I don't think the lasting power on these are the best, but I don't know. I'm willing to reapply if the fragrance really speaks to me, and these are amazing. Uh, two of my standouts are definitely the Vanilla Sky as well as the Boardwalk Delight, both of which I also have the travel sizes of to pop into my purse. Um, some other fragrances here are Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. There are some, uh, there's two fragrances from Alice Brooklyn uh, behind that. So I have Raven and Myth, love those. Um, I received these as a gift. These are the Atelier Colognes. Um, I don't even know what the names of these are. So Clementine, California. There is a, this is a vanilla. What's this vanilla called? They come with these cute little like, um, covers on them. This one is vanilla in insensé. Oh, geez. Yeah. Sorry. My French is, uh, she's a little off. Uh, I took one year of French in high school <laughs> and then, uh, bailed on that really quickly because Spanish was easier. Okay. Uh, this one here is, I think this is the orange sanguine. Let's see if I got that right. Yes. Orange sanguine. Um, sorry, obviously I'm not looking into the back of the camera here. Um, I also have, okay, uh, you're going to laugh at me, but I have kept this for a very long time. I just, I can't get rid of it. Look at how majestic it is. Juicy Couture, uh, Viva La Juicy. <laughs> 
This is so ridiculous, and honestly, the fragrance doesn't really speak to me anymore, but I just, I can't. I am... I have always loved the ridiculosity of Juicy Couture anything, so I'm I'm gonna keep it. Um, I love it. The pink bow, it's just, it's delightful. I do have several Nest fragrances here. I will be adding to my Nest collection here shortly because have you smelled their new Lychee Rose fragrance? Oh, stop by Ulta on your way home from work today and go sniff it out. It is absolutely delightful. This here was a gift not long ago. This is Gucci Guilty. I love the spiciness of this. I will have to find a, um, it's the absolute pour femme, by the way. I will have to find a dupe for this because I love it. Um, these are, um, I have two fragrances from Bastide. This is also a French perfume house. Um, Ombre Marquis and their Rose Olivier. So good. This was a gift. This is Idole. Is this Lancome? I think this is Lancome Idole. Um, it's a very pretty fragrance. I, re I really wish Lancome was cruelty free because there's actually a few Lancome fragrances that I really, really enjoy that I would love to purchase. But anyway, uh, we all know that story. And then this was another gift here. This was Guerlain Meteorites. Uh, this is so soft and pretty. This is probably one of the most feminine, girly, like over the top girly fragrances that I own. Um, I usually wear it on date nights during the summer. It's so beautiful. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to go down one more shelf and um, that'll wrap up the current perfume collection. This is the last shelf and um, we have another little hodgepodge down here. Uh, I don't purchase a ton of body sprays per se, but occasionally I will find a goodie uh, at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> so I will pick those up. Um, off to the left here, I have some body sprays from Bath and Body Works, um, Sol de Janeiro, Scentworks, as well as a Victoria's Secret. The Victoria's Secret one is the Vanilla Jasmine. So um, luckily I do still have a almost completely full body spray pack there. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we have Coco Paradise, we have Into the Night, both of those are from Bath and Body Works, uh, the Scentworks, what is this, this Scentworks scent was amazing, what is this, Golden Vanilla, did you ever try this? Oh my gosh, it just smells edible, it's so good, um, I recently bought Stella a bunch of these Sol de Janeiro body sprays. Uh, I personally love the Coco Cabana. I know a lot of people hated it. They thought it smelled like buttered popcorn. Um, I think it smells delicious and delightful. Um, Stella does not really like this one. It is the one that we like disagree about the most. This is the Churosa 71. This one, this is another one that smells edible to my nose. Uh, you get such a nice whiff of caramel from this one. Oh, it is so, so good. Um, anyway, uh, Stella is into some of their other scents, but um, here I have uh, just a boatload of um, smaller sizes. So I've got, uh, oh, this is totally one I could have unloaded. Uh, there's a Skylar <laughs> perfume in there. Um, this is the YSL Parisian. I think this actually came in the gift box with the Parisian that I have up there. Um, yeah, there's just a hodgepodge of smaller things in here. I've got these Nest um, perfume oils. I purchased like a little sample size of all of the scents that they had. Uh, just a ton of, and, and I got rid of a lot, honestly. Stella took most of them. Just sample samples that I received with orders. So I tossed those in here. And occasionally, if I need some perfume in a beach bag or in a purse, I'll just come up here, grab a handful, and stick them in there. Um, Ariana Grande. So it turns out that even though I'm not a huge fan of her music necessarily, I, I don't think she's a bad artist. I just, I couldn't name one of her songs. I'm sure I've heard them on the radio, but, um, I don't follow her, I guess you could say, but dang, does she make some really lovely perfumes. Her cloud is amazing. It's a kind of a sweeter dupe of the Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, and I've already gone through the smaller size of it. And after finishing the small size, I did purchase the big Mama Jama. That is, I think, right around $60. So kind of a good deal. 
<laughs> I think her perfume prices are quite fair. This is the Mod Vanilla and the Mod Blush. These are two that I usually wear together, but they're delightful on their own. This one was just in that video where um, I was talking about fring uh, spring fragrance suggestions. Um, definitely go sniff those out. In the front here, we have some of the Pacifica fragrances. This Pacifica collection will be expanding. Um, they just recently, it seems like, reformulated some of their perfumes. Um, they are now available in a two ounce size. They're not really that much more expensive. Uh, so I'm really excited to get my hands on those. They did, by the way, keep the Dream Moon, which is another dupe of Baccarat Rouge 540. They also kept Silver Moon. These are two of my holy grails from this perfume line. So really glad to still have access to those. Um, the Passion Fruit, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I really need to go um, and see where uh, where I can locate that ASAP. Now, I do have a couple of um, my like super old school 90s fragrances. <laughs> I just finished the Cody Vanilla Musk as well as the Vanilla Fields. So I probably am going to replace those um, just because there's such a neat memory trigger for me. It is one of those like few exceptions that, you know, I would be willing to make for non-cruelty free because Cody unfortunately is not cruelty free. But um, anyway, I did a video um, a little while ago where I talked about some of my favorite perfumes from the 90s and um, hello 90s girls. Do y'all remember Navy? Who wore Navy? Oh my gosh, it still smells so good to me. I think it's it's a little different than I remember it from back in the day. But I tell you what, middle school Melanie was rocking this like nobody's business. I literally just took babysitting jobs so that I could go to my local, um, gosh, what, it wasn't Walgreens. I think it was actually Rite Aid. Yeah, it was Rite Aid. Um, and any money that I made from babysitting just went straight into perfumes. <laughs> This is how long I've been obsessed with personal fragrance, right? Um, here's another oldie but goodie. I was actually thinking about passing this one along to my mom because she also wore this in the 90s. This is Fire and Ice by Revlon. Do you remember when Revlon made perfume? Yeah, it was back then. Um, I gotta say, hold on, I, I gotta spray this one. It's still so good. <laughs> still really love this one. Um, oh my gosh, I should totally give this to my mom. Man, what a flashback. Um, just a really pretty, like, feminine, girly, kind of powdery type of fragrance. Really unique. But um, anyway, that is what is currently in this little collection of mine. As you can see, the shelves go, go way up there. So... Anyway, um, yeah, I need to, I'll need to do another declutter at one point. My goal is to actually finish a number of these fragrances this year. Um, there are quite a few that I am more than halfway done with, and I'm really going to put a concerted effort into finishing them. Some of them I'll be able to repurchase, some of them I will not, but you know what? I enjoyed them, I got life out of them, and um, then I can move on to something else. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let me know what your favorite perfume from any point in your life is in the comments down below and tell me why. Tell me why it's your favorite. So, all right. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe if you are new. There are many, many more perfume reviews coming in the very near future. So if you are interested, um, I will have a lot of that for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.